One of the first big efforts on my blog was a 10-part series on healthcare spending in the United States. It also led to John doing this video, which is the fourth most popular Vlogbrothers video ever, which pretty much led to healthcare triage. It's not surprising, therefore, that I have an ongoing interest in spending on health. A recent publication in JAMA got into the weeds of where that money goes. This is Healthcare Triage News. To the research. Researchers went through many data sources, including government budgets and records, insurance claims, surveys of households and facilities. Specifically, they used 183 sources to look at spending for 155 conditions. Cancer took up 29 of them. For each record of spending, they also looked at the age and sex of the patient, as well as what care they received. Between 1996 and 2013, more than $30 trillion with the T was spent on personal health care. Let that sink in for a minute or two. Over that time period, spending increased between 3 and 4% annually for most age groups. The highest growth was in emergency care, 6.4%, and prescribed retail pharma, 5.6%. Inpatient care, on the other hand, went up only 2.8%. Nursing facility care only went up 2.5%. Let's focus on 2013, the most recent data. In that year, diabetes accounted for the highest healthcare spending, with more than $101 billion. Of that, 58% was on drugs and 24% on ambulatory care. Number two was ischemic heart disease, with spending of more than $88 billion. Neither of these was too surprising to me, but number three was low back and neck pain, with spending of more than $87 billion. As you might expect, Spending by condition varied by age, sex, year, and type of care. But it pretty much kept going up and up and up. For 143 of the 155 conditions, spending increased between 1996 and 2013. Spending increased the most on diabetes, number one in 2013, and low back and neck pain, number three. Spending was highest for those between 50 and 74 years. Then it starts to go down as the population decreases. But if you break it out by age, spending on women older than 85 is actually the highest category overall. So what do we take home from all of this? I guess that depends on your interests. I was intrigued by the causes of healthcare spending. Chronic disease, diabetes, heart disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cerebrovascular disease, wasn't a surprise. A lot of that's actually modifiable by lifestyle changes. Risk factors account for a lot of spending. Hypertension and hyperlipidemia alone were responsible for more than $135 billion of spending in 2013. But a lot of the spending is due to things like low back and neck pain, osteoarthritis, musculoskeletal disorders, and neurologic disorders associated with pain and muscular dystrophy. These differed from the chronic diseases in that spending was highest for working age adults, not the elderly. The bottom line, as I learned so long ago, is that healthcare spending is complicated. You might want to take a look at this paper, because getting a handle on healthcare spending is going to be complicated too. Healthcare Triage is supported in part by viewers like you through Patreon.com, a service that allows you to support the show through a monthly donation. Your support makes this show bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associate, Joe Sevitz, and thank our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. More information can be found at Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage.